In this video, I will give you a short introduction to Neats Quebec. I will show you just how simple it is to use, what options you have, how you can use the IOs, and how to configure the Quebec. How simple is it to plug in your PC, find the right remote, and the correct buttons to press? It is not always that simple. But with Neats Quebec, it is just as simple as plugging in the cable. It will detect the signal and power on your system and set the correct source. So just plug it in and let Neats Quebec do the rest. And when you are done, just unplug the cable and Neats Quebec will shut down your system. It is just that simple. Neats Quebec comes in two options. Quebec 2 with one VGA port and one HDMI port. And a Quebec 3, that has two HDMI ports. Both Quebecs has one port that can be used as RS-232 or infrared. And three I.O. ports. The I.O.s can be used for many different things. Here is a few examples. Relays, that could control a screen, lights, blinds or many other things. I.O. buttons. A lock, that locks the system. Perfect in classroom setups or other places where only certain people has access to the system. Or motion sensors that could power up your system when somebody is in the room, or shut it down if no movement has been detected for a long time. Now let me show you how easy it is to configure a Neats Quebec in Project Editor. Here I have opened Neats Project Editor. And I will click New to create a new project. Make sure Quebec has been selected, and then click OK. First we need to select a device we need to control. I will use Search to find the device. Here it is, and I just need to click on it to select it. Next we need to tell the Quebec what to do when it detects a signal on input 1, or input 2. All the control sequences of your device, is shown here to the left. So just find the source sequence you need, and drag it to the required input. You do the same for the next input. You do not need to add a power on sequence to the inputs, as the Quebec will know if your device is off and will power it up before a source sequence is sent. Next we need to power the system off, when no signal has been detected. So we will drag in the off sequence. And we will set the power off delay to 1 minute. This delay will allow the user to switch a cable to another PC, without the system suddenly powering off. The optional settings gives you additional settings, like add in a motion sensor, I.O. buttons and other features. This is not needed in this setup. So all we need to do is upload the project. I have the Quebec 3 connected, so I just need to click upload. And the project will upload to the Quebec, and it is ready. Now let us see how our configuration works. Here we have the Quebec connected, and two PC ready to be connected. We plug in the first PC, and the Quebec detects the signal. Powers on the TV, and sets the right source. If we plug in a second PC, then the Quebec will detect a new signal, and will give this priority. So it will tell the TV to switch to this source. When you disconnect both cables, then it will wait the 60 seconds for another signal. If there is none, then it will power down the TV. Thank you for watching. Find more information on neats.dk.